Oh. Yeah. It, it's, 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 uh. And you know what's funny? See, <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, look, look, and I, this is why I got to check you, because you're giving really bad destructive advice to women saying, no, it's okay, go be a stripper, go do whatever. What you don't understand is that the probability of them finding a man that they want, that wants them back, that they'll actually respect and admire, is very low. Look, yeah. that, that's uh, setting them up for failure. And also, I, here's, I, the, here's the big, biggest issue, right? Those girls that are doing that whole plan or whatever of getting the club, leaving, they're still there today. They, they didn't get out. Yeah. So that in itself is the trap. That's no, true. no girl wants to be at a club with random dudes that are yeah. horny as fuck touching them. <laughs> like every single dancer I know is either an alcoholic or does drugs to cope with doing that. Yep. Most women don't want to be touched and observed <laughs> by strange men. Matter of fact, you said it yourself. You can't do it. Well, guess what? Most women can't. Most women don't want to be touched by strangers, which is why OnlyFans have blown up in popularity. Because women that were able to strip before are now able to do it online. But regardless, it's going to follow them because now it's on the internet. So now guys don't touch you in person, but now they're looking at you virtually. And that's going to affect your ability to get a guy to take you seriously. Why would you have went through four years of college at Virginia Tech and busted your ass, etc., if you could have just made money stripping? There's a reason why you did that. You did it because you understand, damn, if I go down this route, I'll make fast money, but it's going to have slow problems. I'm going to have issues with finding a man down the road. Do you seriously think the guy that you're with now would have oh taken you seriously if you are a stripper? No. <laughs> No, but he's also known no. me since hold I was on, 18. On, stop, stop, he knows stop. everything. So this yeah. answer is, the answer is fuck no. So fuck why would no. you advise other women to take a route that you wouldn't even take yourself? I understand what you're saying. It's just if I'm going to come on here and I'm the oldest girl on the panel, I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, don't do that. That's bad for you. They got to find their sexuality and what they Bruh. want if on their own. If you Hold on. If you had a daughter, would you want her to strip? Your no. daughter? Why not? Because I want to protect the most yeah. bad people. It's amazing. No, no, it's art, right? I feel like you guys are like bashing her bitch. for like, it's like a woman trying to support another woman. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just don't think I'm, I, I'm any more pure or better than a person who chose that route. I've oh. done what I've done. I, my boyfriend knows my past. Like, he accepts me for it. I mean, he's all the <laughs> way in Europe, man. Yeah. But, <laughs> the, the that's, point, that's temporary. That's temporary. The, and that, hold on. That's temporary. the problem is that women don't tell each other the truth. You literally just gave them very destructive advice. And a lot of them are significantly younger than you, too, and impressionable. They might actually take that and be like, you know what? I want to do this. And then 10 years down the road, they can't find a guy and they're fucking crying at home with cats. But they don't have the same emotions <laughs> as me. I'm going to go strip. I'm going to go cry after. They're going to strip. They're going to count their money. What? Really? What? Yeah, they don't have the same emotions as me. I'm too, what like, if I, told I just you, told you hold I'm on, sensitive. Hold on, what, 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 fuck up. what if I told you most women are sensitive and most women are way more similar than they think they are? I think all women are pretty kind of the same. Thank you. <laughs> no. And they also don't have the same pressure from their family. Like, my, I don't want to put my parents in the hospital, dude. Like, that's the end of it. I could never choose. I never, it was never in the cards for me. Speak to the mic, please. It so, was never in the cards for me to go into that industry. I have all eyes on me. I have my parents stalking me till I'm like, they'll never stop watching what I'm doing. So, I never... You're that, 30 years old. The fuck? It doesn't matter if I'm 50. I'm Moroccan. They don't care. The culture's like that and they could probably understand. Oh, shit. It's just interesting that you give advice that you wouldn't necessarily even follow yourself yeah. and you're and you deep down you know that it's like a path to destruction but you're saying no go ahead it's okay it's like this is what I mean because when I say women don't give each other good advice you guys give each other retarded advice. One of my best friends took the route of being a high end escort when we were about like uh, 22 and she would she you know she started she started going getting pimped out like being oh. part of the association <laughs> oh. in, in Miami Beach. Wonder what her mental health is like now. And now she's doing well she's sensitive but you know she's like it, it was an experience. You and find well. She owns a house. She owns a car. She traveled the world. She looks good. She still she still looks young. Um, she's. I don't think she's really. Why are you trying to convince girls to be whores? Just be like. Yeah, fuck that's your main oh thing. God. What do you mean? I don't, my main I thing? Mean, You're the one trying to defend a whore. A whore. I'm. Just let her live. Let her do whatever she's doing. We don't gotta be like. Oh, look, her mental health is fine. Blah blah. blah. Like. Fuck look, cares? guys. Fuck I respect whore. you for everything you do, and like. Uh, it, eventually, you're gonna want a family and kids, and you're gonna stop. It doesn't matter what All you right. think. We're gonna move yeah, on. You're black. Yeah, oh my no God. one gives a fuck anymore, man. Like, do, no do you have dogs? Like, no like yo, this I is have... a difference. Like, if a dude's a bum, I'm gonna tell him, bro, you need to get a job. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're a bum. <laughs> But, like, girls don't want to tell each other the truth. Like, hey, you probably should stop doing that. Hey, that's probably not the best move. But women don't tell each other the truth ever. And you're like, well, she's uplifting the wrong way. <laughs> we had a couple here earlier, right? And they had issues. Girl and a guy. And obviously speaking, the guy, we can relate to. We told yep. him, hey, listen, man. Yeah, you're a bum, man. You're a fucking bum. Yeah. Man up and take care of your girl. But again, do, do we need to lie to him and tell, to make him feel better? No. Yeah. Go 50-50 so, with your chick, bro. It's okay. 
You know, like let her continue to be annoyed with you doing the chores and paying half Yo, the bills. Yo, that guy randomly pulled to my house one time for a stream, and like he pulled up in a Ferrari. But I, like, wait, do you know him? No, I don't know how the fuck he got to my house, but like. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I've been, I've been to his house. I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, I guess if you want to pull to my house in a Ferrari, like, I'll accept you inside. But, like, <laughs> you're just fuck? a random bum. Hell nah. Okay. But, like, well, he, he pulled a in a Ferrari. Ferrari? That was in his car. Yeah. No, it was okay. rented, he said. Yeah. Okay. Oh, at least he told you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> but, like, did his girl pay 50% of it or what? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably, bro. That's a good one. Yo. Uh, by the way, do you, okay. have, do you have dogs? Someone just wrote, I'm 45. <laughs> What's up? Do you have I dogs? I have a friend? dog in heaven. I don't have a dog. <laughs> Oh, because that's about oh. to say sh dog shit. Okay, never mind. Dog, okay. dog shit. For what? Advice. Okay. What do you want me to tell them? You guys are horrible. You guys are Shut horrible. Up, You're in the wrong direction. Right, we got right, we, no, yeah, just don't We moved on. We moved on. You're giving terrible on. advice, bro. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. With the amount of hoes in this room, there should be no reason why uh, one give these twin brother darknesses the goods tonight. You see, I'm Rick James, bitch. You do as you're told. That's from I'm Rick James, bitch. Okay. He's a pimp. Uh, you know what? Well... Ladies, any of you guys have a question or a point of contention on anything? Questions, comments, anything you want to ask while I we're here on the panel question. right now? Dating, shoot, shoot. Jack, she has something. Us. Yo, what's your question? Is everybody's goal to get married? Is that I? I'm just asking. Is everybody's goal? What to is get, your goal? I, well, huh? I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm just asking because we seem like we're all. How many girls want to be married same? one day? To Raise your hand. Their dreams. Raise of hands. Let's see. They want to be married one College day. First. One day. Raise of hands. Is that everybody? Yeah, that is everybody. Okay. Wow. Okay. That was just a Very good question. question. Wait, can yeah. I ask something? Does everybody want kids? Raise, Raise your hand of hands if you want yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> Raise of hands if you want children. Okay, that's I a majority. I my bestie, don't. <laughs> that's a majority. <laughs> okay. So every single girl on the panel wants to get married, and most girls want to have kids. Interesting. interesting. I didn't Very interesting. 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 Do you guys want to have one, kids? Yeah. <laughs> Who, us? Yeah. Yeah, eventually. I have one. Eventually? Yeah. Wait, how old are you Mo, guys? you do too? I'm 33. <laughs> Uh, You're 33. No, I'm no, I'm 33. I'm, I'm 31, but I have one kid. Oh, okay. How old is he? Oh, okay, uh, I do have a question. He's four. Are you have a question? He's, <laughs> he's a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Good I, one. I should have um, worried. Oh about it. yeah. Uh, Hell no. Where is he? <laughs> None of your business. No, I'm just kidding. All right. He's upstairs. Someone's gonna oh. some, some daycare. You have some? Do you think a oh, man God. at 33 is or between 33, 34, 35 is stronger oh, and better? God. Do you think a man at your age, you guys' age, I think it's a great age. Do you find it stronger than a man in his mid twenties? Yes. Hundred percent. So you think you're more marketable now than you were in your mid twenties? Hundred percent. Men men get, get if they do the work, they gain value as they age. Okay, and yep. what about when you get to your forties? You'll still be good? Even more value. Yep. Yep. So take a woman like Kim Kardashian, she's lost her value now? Yes. Definitely. Yep. It doesn't seem like it when you walk outside and her picture's everywhere and you say her name, everyone drops. Um, do you do you think men care about status and money? Yes. The answer is no. That's why Kim hasn't been able to keep a guy long term. That's her choice. Same with J-Lo. That's despite, her choice. Despite her accolades. But that's what I'm trying to prove to and you is that men don't give a fuck about a woman's status or money. Proclaimed, self-proclaimed depressed. I wonder why. I'm just using her because she's, you know, older and still in the spotlight. But I, I wouldn't say that every woman loses her value as she gets older. Yeah, I, I know you might say, oh, that's because you're older. But some women at 30 are way better than 20. You don't think so? To who? To who? I just think a man that's your age, if they take a younger woman, say 22, she's not smart enough to see how bad he can be in some ways. It's harder to fool a that's younger woman. for the man. It's good for the man, but yeah. for me right now, like if I meet a guy your age, I can see through a lot of things that a woman twenty can't see. So your yeah, baggage. I can I can see through it, and as I worked in banking for five years, the best relationships are the people that are the same age. They they understand each other. Okay, but if a if a guy puts a thirty year old next to a twenty year old, why would he pick the thirty over the twenty? Like no matter what. A twenty year old is you can't even he might not even be able to have a conversation with 18? her. Yes, you Fuck can. What are, what are you talking about? Like I, I, I get men that are like twenty years old approaching me, nineteen. They're they they don't have a brain. They're not a man they yet. They approach you. Yeah. For what? Milf. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm milf. Nah, one kidding, day, nah. hopefully. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They they approach you, but it's nice to deal like, with a I'll man your age you. and a woman your age because you're like you know you're are you, you're mixing. Are you a man? I, I'm not a man. I'm a woman. Okay. Are men and women attracted to the same things in the opposite gender? <coughs> uh, I, I, sorry, ask that question again. Are men and women attracted to the same things in the opposite gender? In other words, are men attracted to the same things in a woman as a man is attracted to in a man? Some of the same things. Such as what? 
body looks, success, depth, um, the amount they can feel each other, like soul wise. Interesting. <laughs> okay. What is the biggest priority for women when they look at a guy? Uh, how protected that they can feel by him. Okay. What encompasses that? Safety, um, money, money, mm -hmm. attraction. Okay. You know, a good like you know humor where you're just feeling nice. Okay, interesting. Now about men, what do men look at 